previously on the Youth Edition. Fisting his way through, can he get across? He can. Who's there? Connolly! Oh yes, lad! Connolly scores his first goal for the club. What a ball in from Fister. Oh, just seeing Connolly dip off the back of the pack. A lovely finish there from Connolly. Hello and welcome back to the Youth Edition Career Mode FIFA 17 with Cheltenham Town. We are into a new season. It's day one. The transfer window is open and uh, it's time to really build this side uh, for a Champions League campaign. Now, uh, that could mean that some of the younger kids that we've only just brought in are shipped off to create money for some bigger players to be brought in. I do not know yet. We'll have to wait and see what happens. But the transfer window is open. So uh, let's just get straight into this action. All right, we'll start off here with a player upgrade for the Monk, and this one is from Coldplay's Gaming. Thank you very much for your comment. He said the number 55, long sleeves, and uh, some grey boots. So we've done that. Uh, he'll probably be around the club this season, but uh, we'll see how he goes and if he grows, and you know, he might get a loan spell. We'll see what happens with Kenneth White. But uh, let's get into this transfer window. All right, objectives. Here we go. Short term, sign three players younger than 20 years old with potential greater than average overall rating of players currently in the same position. All right, whatever. And sign four youth players to the senior team in the same season they were scouted, play them in 20 matches, either as a part of the starting 11 or coming on as a sub. Well, that's going to be a little bit tricky. Uh, and long term, within two seasons, grow three players at least 10 overall points, play them in 20 matches, either as part of the starting 11 or coming on as a sub. So they will basically want us to rebuild the team from the ground up. Well, that's not going to fucking happen. Uh, brand exposure, well, we missed out on signing a crucial team player, but that was from last year, so fuck knows what's going on there. And within three seasons, increase the season ticket holder by 10%. All right, whatever. Continental success in the Champions Cup. They want us to reach the knockout stage, so obviously we must have qualified uh, for the Champions League. That's a good story. And uh, they want us to qualify for the Euro League. We're in the Champions League. Fucking get your priorities right. Domestic success, finish in a Euro League spot and uh, reach the round of 16 in the FA Cup. Financial, finish the season with 5.9 million unspent allocated transfer funds. So they're already fucking, they've only given us 16 million and I've got to keep six of it. Are you fucking kidding me? Where's the money? We want to fucking win a Champions League here. Oh well, let's see what we can do. Right, so the transfer budget currently stands at 15 million with 29 grand on the wages. Um, We'll, we'll see what we can do about that. I might ship a few of the younger players off just to bump that up and maybe bring in a couple of marquee players that can help push us to the next level. All right, pre-season tournament opportunities here. And we'll take this one here that's 8.3 million. We can use every single dollar of that and we'll hope that the boys get through on the simulation. All right, we got through the first round. We pick up 1.7 million. And we get through the semis and we pick up 2.9 million. So some money coming into the Cheltenham Kitty. And we eventually win the cup over Nice, picking up 3.6. So uh, we should have some money to go and buy at least one decent player. All right, we've got a transfer offer here. It is for Larry White, uh, the goalkeeper. And uh, I'm pretty much ready to move some of these young kids on. Um, so 875 they've offered. I'm just going to try and push to a flat mill. Uh, hopefully they're willing to accept that for the good potential keeper. Uh, American, good lad. Got a couple of games in for Cheltenham. We sent him out on loan. But... Uh, I, Baker's just too good, and unless he gets injured, you can't see anyone else getting a gig. And we've also got an offer here for Hervé Millet. Now, this is an interesting one. Uh, Millet's a little bit of a cult figure, but uh, not growing as quickly as we'd like. He doesn't really have much potential. Uh, St. Johnson have put it in a 1.1, so um, I'm going to say, I'm going to put a high value on him. I'm going to say a flat two. If they want to pay two million for Millet, they can have him. All right, we've got a transfer offer here from Arsenal for Alfie Cooper. Um, I'm not going to sell him, that's for sure. Uh, we're going to reject all offers this season, and hopefully he's ready to play for Cheltenham this year. Right, so Johnson don't think that's enough for Millet, so that's fine. And uh, Perugia, uh, happy to take a million for Larry White, so he will be moving on from the club. Well, another offer's coming in for Millet. It's an Irish team, I believe, in Ross County. Could be Scottish. Fuck knows. Uh, they've offered 1.1. We're going to put a 2 million evaluation on Hervé. All right, so this will be our first signing. I felt that the centre-back role is probably something we did need to uh, strengthen up to help out big Phil Mulholland. This is Bubakar Wolf. 
Uh, 78 overall center back at 21 years of age. He's going to cost us 14 million, and I'm going to send Gomez Sola the other way. Uh, but hopefully he signs this contract. Uh, and he can come in and really help us out here uh, as we try and build a, a stronger side for some Champions League football. So there's the news. Larry White is our first sale of the transfer window. Uh, One million out and only 675 into our board budget. Oh, they're fucking stinging us here, aren't they? So Bubakar Wolf has accepted his contract. Here's the big signing of this transfer window. Uh, welcome to the club, Bubakar. Right, so Bubakar Wolf slots straight into the first team. Uh, four star weak foot, two star skill moves, high defensive work rate, six foot from Germany. He's got a strength specialty. Uh, 99 jumping already, 97 strength. Uh, he should be a bit of a force at the back there to help out Phil Ball Holland and uh, really strengthen up our back line. All right, taking a look at our youth academy at the moment. As Elvisky, 88 to 94. Hugo de Klerk, 69 to 85. He's dropped off a little bit. And Wishing Chi is uh, 79 to 94. All right, the final report is back from Korea, and uh, there's nothing in here worth signing up. Uh, we can really only afford to sign really decent players now uh, this late in the career mode. So that ends our time in Korea. All right, we are in Ireland. The only person that was worth signing up was Daria White, 71 to 94, but he went to Levante. We missed out on him. Uh, there's a couple other, like, 94 potentials, but uh, they just don't look like the players that I need for this team at the moment. So that'll end our time here in Ireland. And we are in Denmark. Uh, Marius Jefferson looks all right, but uh, if he's a striker, his finishing is fucking rubbish. Uh, we have scouted him for three months. He's worth 160 grand. Uh, so nothing really to write home about there. Um, and the only other one was August Skovgard. Uh, he looked okay, but still, once again, nothing really special on these returns. I'm only going to be signing up players that have a high value and uh, look that they could grow really, really quickly and possibly have some influence in this Cheltenham side. But that doesn't mean that we're not going to keep looking for new stars for this team. So it's time to send the scouts out again. I'm going to hit that generate button. And uh, the first one up is Andres Stepanovs. Uh, he wants to scout Bolivia for a playmaker. And next on the list is number 49. And that one comes from Gunners Fan 101423. China for an attacker. And the last one is 24, and it is Tyler Short, and he wants Portugal for a winger. Well, we've got a transfer here for our goalkeeper in Baker. 39 million from Benfica. Reject all offers. Right, we've got a transfer offer here for Jake Pearson. Pearson. Uh, St. Pauli have come in with 3.1. Now, uh, Jakey Boy is probably... What's he playing? Is he playing in the twos or the threes? I can't even remember, but uh, they've come in with higher than his valuation. Uh, we're going to try and push it for 5.1 million and see if they're happy to take Jake for that kind of money. He's got some rapid pace, uh, but obviously he's not dislodging Brandt from the first team. Right, St. Pauli have come back with 3.3. I'm going to push that up to 4.8. Right, St. Pauli have come back with 4.2. That is a pretty decent offer for Pearson. Um, we've got some young aspiring left backs moving through the club at the moment. Probably not on this level, um, but... Oh, it's, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try one more. I'm going to go four and a half. If they're willing to pay that, they can have Jake Pearson. And just like that, it is opening day of the Premier League season. Cheltenham Town at home, hosting Sunderland. And uh, not much transfer activity so far for Cheltenham, other than bringing in big Bubakar Wolf. He will partner up with Phil Mulholland today, and we'll get a real good look at him and uh, see if he is the star player that I feel he will be. Other than that... Your standard first team lineup. Alfie Cooper back into the side. He will start on the right hand side of Villa moves to the bench. And uh, other than that, we are ready to rumble. It's been a big off season for the boys. Hopefully, they're ready to make a challenge here at the Premier League title. Possibly get into contention for some decent Champions League action as well. We're going to need squad depth. We're going to need everyone on their A game. And we're looking for a big Cheltenham season right here. We're taking on Sunderland at home in the opening day. And here is our starting lineup. It is Baker, Jones, Wolf, Mulholland, Brandt, Diallo, Rowe, Cooper, Costa, Alexander, and Tamite. Bubakar, Wolf making his debut. Tekas, Avila, Suarez, Fernandez, Anwar, Lucas, Vina, and Fai on the bench. Uh, hopefully, we can get the job done here and start our season off uh, with a bit of a bang. Just waiting to see the Sunderland lineup to see if they've made many acquisitions and what kind of side 
they want to put out here against us. I'm looking for teams to put out big teams against us now rather than playing their seconds. Uh, they've got Pickford between the sticks. He was good last time we played him. Van Arnholt's there. Um, Taylor is on the bench. Well, you would have thought Taylor would have loved to start against his former side. But he's at Sunderland and he'll have to watch from the bench. Let's get into this game. We want to start with an impact. Cheltenham ready to rewrite history and push on. Oh, Chunso Rowe just decimates his man. Tomite, quick ball on. Costa slips it forward. Elfie Cooper. Oh, take the shot, son. Save from Pickford. Ten minutes gone. And our first corner of the season. Diallo whips this one in. Cooper got up. And straight at Pickford. There's a ball down the line for Tomite. Takes off. Tomite cuts through. Slips this one off. Elfie Cooper. Oh, fuck me, Coops. Oh, hello, Bubakar. Feeds it forward. Wanted to meet eight. Cleared away. Half time. It's a slow start to the season, and no one has found an avenue forward. It's nil all. Oh, save from Baker. His first big save of the season. Sunderland only taking their second shot for the game. But in saying that, we've only had three shots. So it's been a tight midfield tussle. Both teams struggling to get forward. It was a good strike and a cracking save from Baker. It's a corner now for Sunderland. Come on, boys. Jones, healthy Alexander, wheels around. Takes a strike, save from Pickford. Slips it off to Chanso Rowe. Good touch inside. Elfie Alexander, back to Costa. Dispossessed. Rowe's there. He goes out wide. Mini Cooper, inside. Looks for JDT. He works his way through the pack, but picked off by Gooch. Picked off by Gooch. Three minutes remain. There's Tekkers. Inside, Tomite. Wheels around. It's JDT. Oh, Pickford with the save again. The ball down the line. Come on, Tekkers. Slide it in. Gets it forward. It's a Villa. Shoot! Fucking a Villa shooting is shocking. And uh, the opening game of the season is a nil all draw. Oh, that's not a sign of things to come. Well, a tough start to the season. We got going a little bit in the second half to accumulate seven shots. Couldn't beat Pickford. And uh, Alfie Alexander gets an 8.1 man of the match performance. Well, they don't feel that's enough for Pearson. We played hardball. They didn't want to take it, so Pearson will remain. And uh, Elfie Cooper's bruised an elbow. That's the first injury of the season for old fucking Cooper. And he's gone for five days. All right, here we go. Game number two. This will be the final game of the episode. I'll just squeeze two in here with the, the transfer stuff. But uh, we go to Turf Moor to take on Burnley. Um, an interesting start there against Sunderland. A nil-all draw. No one really made a name for pushing forward. Tamita wasn't really getting the delivery, and when he was in the box, he was just absolutely crowded around. I know he's our leading goal scorer for the club of all time, but oh, we just need to find some more avenues forward, I feel. Avila will start on the right-hand side in place of Cooper, who uh, was injured, so it's not far away, only a couple of days, but uh, just freshen things up. And uh, other than that, no changes. Let's get out here and hopefully pick up three points here against Burnley. Chanso Rowe slips on forward. Tomite breaks the line. Still going. Costa slips this one off. Oh, there's a penalty. A penalty has been given. Costa got taken out behind the play. And uh, it will be not fucking Diallo. No chance. Tomite. Open your account, son. Oh, fucking save. And here comes Cheltenham screaming through the middle as a Villa. Oh, what was that pass of Villa? You're a bum nugget. Great work, Elfie Alexander. Come on, Costa. Fucking sort something out here. Ivan Costa works his way inside. Fuck! Set us something up here. Inside to Diallo. He gets it forward. Here's a Villa. Picked off. Oh, Elfie Alexander couldn't shoot either. Oh, it's not Cheltenham's day again. You can just feel it. The momentum is not there whatsoever. Come on, boys. Right from Diallo. 
Alfie Alexander takes the game on here. Slips up forward. Villa crosses back post. Look at Bacosta. Oh, just wide. Well, there's half time. Another half of football with no goals. And Cheltenham looking rusty. Corner for Cheltenham once again. Alfie Alexander whips it in. Villa got up. Tomite heads it forward. Avila, it's gone in. Finally, we score a fucking goal. And look who it is. It's bloody Avila. How the hell did he fucking get on the end of that? I have no idea. It was an absolute mosh pit in there. Tomite got the header into the side. And it's gone through the defender's legs. Through the keeper's legs. And he misses the defender and goes in. It's a 1-0 lead. Probably undeserving. But Avila gets the opening goal of the season. It's 1-0 Cheltenham here at Burnley. Jordy Fight puts this one off. Ruben Lucas Vina wheels around. Doesn't matter. Tekkers has got it. What the fuck, Tekkers? Shoot, don't pass. And they blow the whistle. So we take a 1 0 victory. Finally, three points for Cheltenham. But it was none less convincing than it should have been. So we had 10 shots, only five on target. Something's not right, but uh, Tomite gets himself a man of the match, 8.7. Okay. All right, so that's where we'll wrap that one up. Somehow we're sitting in fifth, even though it was two pretty average performances, but we've picked up the four points. Uh, the transfer window's still open for a bit. Uh, we don't have a lot of money to play with, and no one's really coming in to buy our players, so uh, we'll just make do it. We've got to get rolling. Uh, but, yeah, what else can you do? Um, let's go and quickly do a player upgrade, though. All right, it is the Saudi Arabian uh, centre midfielder, El Sahaf. If you want to do any changes to his number or kit, let me know. He'll probably get a few gigs in the youth team this season. Um, but yeah, we'll get that happening in a future episode. And that's where we will wrap up today. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'm Spiring DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere, and you have a good one.